Thank you. Okay. Down here. <clears throat> Ooh. Turn that one down. Because that was really loud. Check, check, check. Checking one, two, one, two. Obviously, I'm not ready for filming and actually doing a podcast, but I said I would do one today, and I figure you gotta do it. That's um pretty important. Say things out loud, speak them into existence. Even if you think you're not ready, sometimes just doing it is a big step, and I think this is gonna be a big step. Um, finding comfortability and being uncomfortable. Definitely something that will grow on you and teach you a lot. And yeah, it's pretty uncomfortable. So, cheers, mates. But yeah, I think it's going to be pretty tight. Um, next week, probably on Thursday, I want to do an episode based on all my equipment that I've gathered, um, what I'm filming on, how I'm filming. How I'm recording the audio, the um, process to like actually set up and shoot all of this, kind of break it down how I'm actually doing the stuff as opposed to just like hopping on the YouTube and seeing an episode and be like, oh yeah, cool, cool. This will kind of be like a behind the scenes I'm kind of learning as I go to and you know, if somebody else needs a little push over the edge, it's it'll be cool to be a good resource and motivation so yeah here it is I guess it's Bears Best podcast and it'll kind of be a mixture of everybody I listen to all my influences you know like Theo Vaughn, Ari Rogan of course and the uh, um, improv podcast I listen to a lot at work digging holes and stuff so I listened to enough of them figured I'd give it a rip and I I feel like I've met quite a few interesting people that will fill up somebody's time and create some good conversation and then on the other hand have all this recording and picture and that kind of the world of things where I can show you my new gear give you some reviews obviously non-scientific and researched and stuff because that's way above my prey grade but I'll bring it down to our level where I'll tell you if something's good or not and easy to use and if the other reviews are actually accurate because that's about what I do, watch a few YouTube videos, you know, see what cons line up with all the other cons and positives with the other positives, and somewhere in the middle is usually the good product, so hopefully I can do all that work for you and lead you in the right direction with that. Um, Yeah, I wanted to do, I've been talking about doing a podcast for a few weeks, like seriously now, and gotten all this equipment for about two weeks it's been sitting in boxes in my office for two weeks saying I'll do it tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow but I told a few people that I'm actually going to sit down and get this done today and I didn't want to I procrastinated I did all my laundry and I cleaned my room and I cleaned the kitchen and I cleaned two dog crates that didn't need to be cleaned just so I didn't have to do this and so I was like, oh, well, shit, I should go do this. And, yeah, here we are. It feels good. It feels weird. But I'm excited. This will be cool. I got a bunch of people in mind to bring to the podcast. It's so fucking weird saying, like, hey, you want to be on my podcast? Just because you hear it from so many other people. And But, yeah, I feel like... I can have a little different spin on everything, so might as well give it a try. It's not going to hurt anything. Yeah, it was really encouraging. I got all this stuff and just threw out on my story like, Hey, wants to be on my podcast? And about 20 people were like, Hey, I actually do want to do that. And so it was kind of cool to get a bunch of people that came out of the woodworks to be like, Hey, yeah, we'll support you. And 
that was cool. We'll see if I get around to it. I want to. I plan to, but you got to get over the hump of the beginnings and failure and, you know, all the negative things that are going to be thrown at me, just my own mental battles. But if I can get over that side and get, keep my ego in check and all that stuff, I think this will be pretty cool and grow naturally. And consistency is the key from everybody like from all the advice that I hear is consistency, consistency, consistency. If I say I'm going to have three a week, have three a week. If I say I'm going to have one a week, have one a week. You know, don't get, don't, a bunch of people I'm sure will have five, ten episodes and then ghost for a long time and yeah, you know, it doesn't go anywhere, but I'm, I'm ready for kind of mentally preparing myself for a lot of episodes with like, you know, 10, 20, 30 views here and there, but I think it'll be good for me, like I said, good for my ego just to be like, hey bitch, you're, chill out, you're not a fucking, you're not a king, you're not, you're not good at this, you're not, yes, that's gonna be tough because it's never fun to be overlooked and just... I feel like my time is being wasted, but like I said, who the fuck am I? Especially with this. I have no business doing this. I can't even talk properly. But yeah, we're going to fucking give it a rip. This is my studio for now. A lot of work to be done. I think I just got a new lens, so that's going to be pretty wide. So I think I can scoot that over. I want to either put like a love seat here with a coffee table or two chairs and a coffee table so I can like use my computer and chit chat with somebody, bring them in. Um, so that'll be cool. I got a couple of posters I want to bring into the back. Some more backlighting I think would be cool. Um, yeah, this is going to do it for now. Um, and all this stuff is super mobile. I made sure to find some mobile equipment. So we will have some road podcast, some stuff in a park, some stuff on a bus, da da da. You know, Hoop Fest is gonna be awesome. We're gonna bring all the equipment down and get some good Hoop Fest interviews. I think that'll be really cool. Um I wanna get local artists on the podcast. I wanna get rappers. I wanna get successful business owners. I wanna get my friends on here so we can talk shit. I wanna get my brother. I wanna get, you know, basically anybody that I want to talk to or I could picture myself listening to on a podcast. I want to get, hopefully we can get to a point where I can get some like Gonzaga basketball players and ask them some questions from a different perspective that they probably get all the time from like sports reporters. Like I want to know about the college parties they go to. I want to know about, you know, the stuff that younger crowd like my age, especially being an athlete growing up and, being kind of growing up in a different light than most people. Um, I feel like I have an interesting angle at quite a few things. Um, what my buddy Jacob, he goes by Oracle. Shout out, dude. Um, he was in town recently for Mother's Day, and we did a photo shoot. Took me to a really sick spot in Spokane. I'm going to be back for some photo shoots. I'll be really cool. Um, but yeah, he's down in L.A., following his dream, super successful, he's selling, buying and selling, like, luxury products, and, like, he's super motivational just because he had an idea, and he's doing it, and it's working, and he's happy, not working for the man, just doing his own thing, he's grinding, it's not easy work, it's, none of this stuff's going to be easy, but it's just a matter of doing what you want to do, and getting by every day, having fun, and not dreading and hating everything, because that's, where I've been most of my life, wake up, hate stuff most of my life, and then have three hours at the end of the day where I can be like, okay, cool, I'm free. Um, Sidetrack. Anyway, we had great conversation, and I was asking him really good questions I feel like he hadn't heard before, and making him stop and pause and reflect and laugh and give me a response. I thought that was really cool. I felt like I was... Like, it made me feel good to find a good question to ask him, which is kind of weird, but that's kind of, that's how I felt, so that's how it is, um, but yeah, I told him, I was like, damn, I wish, 
we recorded all this because it's like juicy info like your story is really interesting like I'm intrigued on the end of my seat just talking to you about your life like I think that's fucking rad um so we're gonna go down to LA Allie and I I got my boy Fish down there he's got great connections he's gonna be awesome now on the podcast the Oracle we're gonna hit him up do some great things um have him on the podcast retell that story and get some more juicy info um yeah super excited about LA um yeah it's gonna be great in the meantime um I'm gonna work on this studio I'm gonna get things tidied up I'm gonna get things rocking and rolling make it look a little more professional a little more comfortable I'm gonna try to be more comfortable I'm gonna work on this lighting I'll have to see if it's too harsh or whatever listen back to the audio I mean I can hear it in my headphones but I don't know how it sounds really um yeah I think it's gonna be pretty cool I'm excited um we'll have Ali on it'll be cool we can you guys can see kind of a look into different part of our relationship that you just see on Instagram the smiling and happy pictures we can talk talk shop we can talk how her Instagram's going kind of how build an Instagram how all that started that's a really cool story all in home so that's kind of cool um had the idea we can have like a little sub podcast called like some bullshit with like couples therapy or something and then we can just talk shit back and forth and because we do that a lot um content is king and that would be good content for some people to watch i'm sure it's pretty entertaining i bet the neighbors love it um yeah like i said equipment talk when i have go through all this stuff bring it down to a level where it's digestible and because i started all this about december i got sick and then spent the 14 days in bed on skillshare on youtube reading books listening to audiobooks and podcasts camera podcasts i didn't even know where a thing but they're out there jared poland was great um yeah spent my life savings on camera new lenses every time i build up my savings it goes right back into investing in myself and Allie and us as a team and yeah I mean from the outside it might look like it's we're like doing really good and like the bank account is being stacked but like it goes up and then back to zero goes up back to zero and right now we are at zero but now we have another opportunity, so hopefully it just keeps doubling down and growing and growing and growing and start to build some numbers, start to build a base, start to get some shows out there, bring some great guests on. I'd love to fucking give you guys an underwear read or some fucking balding cream read so I can get some money. That would be tight, but that's much further down the road. In the meantime, I am going to go throw this on the computer see how cringy it is and yeah glad I did this I don't think I would but here we are that's it and this is Barry's best and I'll be working on an outro it'll be cool but until then 